you have most likely seen this puzzle as soon as you get to explore Hogwarts. And with your curious mind, you already want to know what is on the other side. So now, let me teach you how to open these doors. But first things first, we need to find the two interactable objects in order for us to open the door. These are the ones that has the question mark or the double question mark on them. Normally, they are found close to the door, but sometimes one of them is going to be like a couple meters away. Next, you need to reveal what is the pattern by of course just interacting the door. Now, the goal here is to have all of the sides, the numbered sides, equal to the number in the middle. So for these ones, we have the number 21 and the number 17. Now it's easier if we have all of the numbers on the sides, but some of them would just be represented by animals or mythical creatures. These creatures are numbered in this way, from 0 to 9. But if you don't have this guide page, you can simply just use the door as your reference. With this creature as number 0, and the last creature to the right would be number 9. So for the upper pattern, we have a total of 21. We already have 11 on the left side, and on the upper side, we have the number 2. So 2 plus 11 will give us 13, and 21 minus 13 will give us 8. And so the number 8 is going to be the spider. Next, let's do the bottom pattern. The total number is going to be 17, and what we have is already the number 9 on the bottom side, and then on the left side, we have the number 5, which kind of looks like a crab or a flea. I don't know. So with 5 and 9, we already have 14. Now we just need number 3. And the number 3 is represented by the animal or creature with the three heads. So that would be the three-headed dragon. So now interact the double question mark button until you get the correct creature. Once you're done, interact with the door, and if you've done it correctly, the pattern will disappear and the door will open. Sadly, you will not get any XP from doing this puzzle, but you will get a random gear and a conjuration, which will help you in getting another item for your collections if you want to get a certain trophy, or if you just want to make your room of requirement look better. So if you like this video, please give me a like and of course subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you want to learn more tips and tricks for Hogwarts Legacy, you can check out my video over here. And if not, you can also check my other videos over here. By the way, I'm Dark and I hope that I'll see you again next time.